G'day guys, welcome back to another Rabbit Quick Mod with the Dad Bod. Now, like my wife tells me, this one's gonna be quick and easy. But like I tell my wife, this is essential and as much needed. Plus, it couldn't have come at a better time as it's starting to rain. So, you're wondering, what the bloody hell are you on about, Jez? We're here for the mods, not for the bods, or your sex life, or maybe you are. Drop a comment down below, let us know. So, we're here for the rollout awning clothesline. And, well, you can see here, pink line. That's not the clothesline, that's actually a mock-up. So I can measure it out, so I don't have to drill the hole, and then find out later on that I messed up, and then have to redo it, like some other people have done in the past. Anyway, so let's check it out. All right. All right, let's see if this line clears everything because what you don't want to do is finish it off and then it not clear anything but as you can see it clears the door it clears the mid awning support bracket which is good so let's bring it back down all right wow Alrighty, so let's get to it. Righto guys, now the rollout awning clothesline is one of the easiest and cheapest mods you can do for your caravan. And it's something you're gonna use day in and day out. I mean, the wifey loves it. I absolutely love it. I love it, and it's so versatile for hanging your togs, towels, clothes, dirty gear, sexy gear, AKA lingerie, though I doubt the latter will be coming along with us on our lap. But let us know in the comments if you do or don't take any of the sexy gear. Plus, the good thing about this is it stays fixed permanently to your awning 24 seven. So all you have to do is just rock up to the campsite and it's all set up. All right, let's check it out. All right, now you're just gonna need to nip on down to Bunno's and get some supplies, which should set you back around 30 bucks. Now you should save even more if you got the PowerPass app, which is usually around 5% off at the till. Anyway, let's go and check out and see what you're gonna need. All right, so you're gonna need some galvanized wire rope. I've gone with the two mil 10 meter version as it has a 285 braking strength and a safe working load of 55 kilos. You're also gonna need a couple of swages. Now with the two millimeter galvanized wire rope, it's PVC coated. So the 3.2 millimeter swage will fit perfectly. Now you're also gonna need a stainless steel hook and eye turnbuckle and a stainless steel D shackle. Now I've gone with this version with the key like pin in it as because, well, it was just cheaper for whatever reason. Plus you can use the key to tighten it even tighter uh, for whatever reason it becomes loose. Now the rope and wire thimble is not really needed, but I like to use it because for one, it looks better and for two, well, it protects the PVC from rubbing and fraying when it's uh, against the, the D shackle. Now, you're also gonna need a couple of eye bolts, which I've gone with a six millimeter version. And also, you will need some washers and some stainless steel lock nuts. Now, as for tools, well, just gonna need a drill and a six mil drill bit. You're gonna need a ratchet and a 10 mil socket for the lock nut. You're also gonna need a measuring tape so that you can measure each side evenly as you don't wanna stuff that one up again, like some people have. And you're also gonna need a pair of pliers so that you can crimp the swages, unless you've got a crimper. But if you've got muscles, then using the pliers is pretty good. So I'm probably gonna use the crimper. All right, there you have it guys. So. Let's get crimping. Now, you can get the galvanized stuff to save money if you want, but I figured if you're gonna do something once, do it properly. Plus, the stainless steel stuff is gonna outlast the galvanized stuff 100%, no doubt. No doubt. Plus, like us, we're out in the elements all the time, and stainless steel stuff is not gonna go rusty and look yucky on your van. So, 
let's get to it. Righto, so I've marked it out 90 mil from this point here. Down to 90 mil, there, I've already marked it out. Don't know if you can see it on the camera. No. Nope. But it's there, so let's drill that point. There we go. All right. Perfect. All right, time to put the eye bolt in. Now I've gone with a stainless steel washer on the eye bolt so that it will spread the load when it's pressed up against it. So let's put the other washer on. There we go. It's pretty tight. Tight like a tiger. Tight like a tiger. Now it's time to do the other side. Righto, let's double check the measurement. There we go, 90 mil. You probably can't see it there. Nope. But I've marked out a line there. So let's get to the drilling. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's get the eye bolt on. Now, if you don't want to hold the eye bolt or it gets a bit too tough, just put in a screwdriver and that should do the trick. There you go, perfect. Righto, so you just need to unravel the rope wire. Righto, now after you've unraveled the rope wire, put the swage in and then feed it through the eye of the turnbuckle. Plus, also have the thimble already placed in there like that. That can be a bit tight. I see that from your toy pants. But uh, you just need to shove it in there. All right. Hook it on. And then feed the other side of the rope wire in the other side of the swage. So it might take a bit as you've got 10 meters of it. Let's come and check it out a bit closer. Right out. So if you have a look here, have a look at the turnbuckle. You want to have a lot out so that you can tighten it up and have a bit more provision there to tighten it up if for whatever reason the uh, rope gets stretched. Okay, now you want to put the thimble in like that. And now you want to pull it and tighten it up. Have the swage right up against the thimble. All right, time to crimp. Let's get crimp. There you go, look at that. Nice and crimp. All right, let's go and hang it up and cut the ends off. All right, let's hook her up and tighten her up. As you can see, it's a little bit loose, which is why it's a good idea to leave a lot of room there so that you can tighten it up. So turn the turnbuckle and it will tighten up. All right, time to trim that off. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Let's go check the other side. All right, let's make sure this is tight. Yep, that's tight. And let's trim that last piece. Beautiful. Righto guys, there you have it. The easy peasy, bosom squeezy, roll out awning clothesline. Now, if you want to see any more, grab a quick mod with the dad bod. Don't forget to hit that like button, which is right about here. Now, if you hit that subscribe button, which is about ah, here or down below the video, well, that gives us the warm and fuzzies right down below. Ooh, which we really enjoy. Now, if you want to get notified of any upcoming tips, tricks, hacks, and mods on anything caravan and camping related, don't forget to hit that notifications button, which is here. Yeah, but for realsies, 
Everything's down below under the video. Now, let us know if your rollout awning clothesline, well, will carry any sexy gear. Oh, behave. I doubt ours will, but one can hope. Maybe I'll sneakily pack some on our trip. Don't tell the wifey. She won't know anyway because she never watches our videos. Anyway, catch you on the flip side. Peace out. Righto, now the... Uh, Alrighty guys, now you're just gonna nip down... Uh, right. Righto legends, now if you like this video... Oh, okay, shh, shh.